Hi there, this is Patricia from patriciafenty.com and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this really pretty granny square. I'm calling it a happy granny square because it just has such pretty colors in there and uh, I'm using a few different color combinations for the same pattern. I'm using this Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton yarn. It's a number four medium weight yarn and this is the sample that I'm going to demonstrate with this color combination. So you can use any yarn that you like, any size hook that you like, but for this I'm using a four millimeter or a G6 crochet hook. You'll need some scissors and a darning needle. And I'm starting with the rose pink in the sugar and cream. Now we're going to start with a slip knot. And if you're new to crochet, I do have the beginner crochet series that, sh that shows you all the stitches you need to know to do this granny square. So you need to know how to do a chain stitch, a slip stitch, a single crochet, a double crochet, and a treble crochet. So start with a slip knot on your hook and do a chain five. And then you're going to create a ring by doing a slip stitch into that top loop of your first chain and just grab the yarn from behind and pull it through to both those loops and that makes your ring. Then you'll start with a chain two and work one double crochet into the circle. So yarn over, put your hook through the ring, grab your yarn from behind. Whoops, I uh, kind of lost it on the ply here. I'll try that again. So go through the ring. There we go. And you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And then chain one. And that's your first, your first cluster. Now we're what? What we're doing is a, I think it's called a two double crochet together cluster. So yarn over and start a double crochet, but you're just going to pull through the first two loops only. And then you start the next double crochet into the ring and pull the yarn through the two loops and you'll have three loops on your hook A yarn over and pull through all three loops and then chain one. And that creates that cluster, the two together double crochet, I think it's called. And so we're going to do six more of these. So we'll have a total of eight clusters. So again, yarn over, start your double crochet into the ring and just pull through the first two loops and then begin the next cro double crochet and pull the yarn through the two loops and you'll have three loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through all three loops and then chain one. And that completes the next cluster. So I'll just do it one more time here. Yarn over into the ring, pull the yarn through, pull through just the two loops, start the next double crochet and just pull through the two loops and you'll have three loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through all three loops and chain one. And so you're going to repeat that all the way around and I have four and you'll do four more. So I just finished my seventh cluster and you have to sort of push the work over to the side to get all these clusters to fit inside the ring. So just finishing up the last cluster here. I'm pulling through all three loops and then a chain one. And then you'll join this round and there's your beginning chain two, but you're actually going to join into this third chain at the top of the cluster and going under that third stitch, going under two loops and do a slip stitch. And bringing that through just like that and if you want, you can do a chain one to fasten off or you can just cut the yarn and pull it through. That's totally up to you. So that's the end of round one. Now for round two, I'm using the Lily Sugar and Cream and this is the hot green. And you'll start with a slip knot and put that on your hook. 
and then you're go, going to join into any chain one space. We're going to join on with a single crochet. So put your hook through the chain one space and keeping your loop on the front, grab the yarn from behind, bring the yarn through, flip your tail over. You'll have two loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through two loops. And that's how you join on with a single crochet. So now you want to chain five and then uh, do a single crochet in the next chain one space. So going through the chain one space, pull your yarn from behind. You'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops and then chain five. And you're just going to do this all the way around going into the next chain one space with a single crochet. So go ahead and do that all the way around and I'll see you on the other side. Great, so doing my last set of chain fives and then you'll join this round by doing a slip stitch into that beginning single crochet. There's your knot and you're just going under those two loops and do a slip stitch to join that round. And there you go. And so you'll have eight loops all together. Okay. Now we're going to start creating our petals. So do a slip stitch into the next chain five space. And then do a chain five. And this is count, and this will count as a treble crochet and a chain one. Yeah, that's five. And then you'll do seven more treble crochets into this chain five space. So to do a treble, you yarn over twice and go into the chain five space, pull the yarn from behind, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops, and then chain one and you can just push that over and you'll repeat that six more times. So yarn over twice, go into your chain five space, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops and chain one and just squish that over. Oops, I almost did a double there. So we're going to do a total of eight treble crochets, including the beginning chain five. So here I am, I'm at number eight, doing my last, my eighth treble crochet. The thing I find with this uh, cotton yarn is the ply is really loose and it can be a little bit tricky sometimes to uh, crochet with. And then do uh, chain one. And then in your next chain five space, you'll just do a single crochet and just like that. And then chain one, and then you'll do eight treble crochets in the next chain five space. So yarn over twice and do your treble crochet and do a chain one. And so this is the last one. So I've done eight treble crochets with a chain one in between. And that's, and then I'm doing the chain one as I come out of that. And then you'll do a single crochet into that next chain five space. And then a chain one and you'll just repeat that all the way around and you can see how that's creating these nice little petals. All right so just coming out of my last set of petals here I have four sets of petals and I've done my chain one and then I'm doing the single crochet into that chain five space and chain one and then you'll join the round by going into the fourth stitch, the fourth chain of your beginning chain five. Four, there it is. And going under both stitches of the fourth chain of your beginning chain five and just do a slip stitch. 
I always find these stitches can be a little bit tight to get into and I find especially with this yarn because it's not very slippery it's almost sticky uh, there we go and do a slip stitch and again you can do a chain one to fasten off or just cut your yarn and pull it through like that and that's the end of round three huh? Welcome back. And I've darned in my tail ends. I like to be really particular about darning in the tail ends. I like the back side to look as neat as possible. So now we're going to do round four again with the Lily Sugar and Cream. And this color is Tangerine. So we'll be joining on with a slip knot. And put that on your hook. And then you start by working a corner and you'll start in one of your petals here and the corner will always be worked into the fourth chain one space of your petal and that's the middle of the petal. So going into the fourth chain one space and just join on with a slip stitch. So bring your yarn through, flip your tail over and do a slip stitch. And it's a nice neat way to join your yarn on. So start with a chain four, and this counts as your first treble crochet. And pull that over. For the most part of this pattern, it's hard to crochet in your tail ends, but in this piece here, you can actually crochet the tail end in for a bit if you like, but you don't have to. So now you'll do a treble crochet so yarn over twice and work your treble crochet back into that same chain one space and then chain two and do two more treble crochets into that chain one space and this is how you will always work your corners it'll be two treble crochets chain two and two treble crochets and there we go and then you'll do a chain one to come out of the corner and now you'll do a double crochet in the next chain one space and chain one and a double crochet into the next chain one space chain one and then you'll do a third double crochet into the next chain one space with a chain one and now you're going to uh, do a treble into the top of your single crochet so there's your single crochet and so you want to make sure to get into the top of that stitch so yarn over twice and you can see here this is actually the chain one space that's you want to actually work into the stitch past that and it's the top of the single crochet it's a slightly tighter stitch and going under both loops you'll work your treble crochet and so you'll always be working the treble crochet into this single crochet stitch and then chain one and then you'll just do a double crochet into the next three chain one spaces with a chain one in between each double crochet and now you're into that fourth chain one space and you're into the center of the petal so then you'll work your corner into that um, chain one space so you do two treble crochets and a chain two and two treble crochets and and it's interesting it's actually a really hot day here today and I'm finding the cotton kind of hard to work with my hands are a little bit clammy and the yarn is kind of sticking to my hands and I'm having a hard time with attention so anyways you come out of the corner with your chain one and then you carry on repeating that pattern all the way around so you've done your chain one and you're going to do a double crochet with a chain one into each of those chain one spaces until you get to your um, your single crochet there where you'll work your treble into the top of that single crochet and you'll just repeat that all the way around 
Okay, so coming around to the end of this round, so I'm just going to do one more double crochet into that last chain one space with a chain one. And then for this round, we're actually going to finish this a little bit differently. If you followed any of my patterns before, I sometimes like to finish the last couple of rounds with an invisible stitch because for this very last round, we're going to be crocheting into the top post and um, I don't want to have a knot there to crochet into. So just cut, cut your yarn and pull it through and then you'll thread your needle on and I'm going to just zoom in a bit closer here I think and with this stitch when I originally learned it it was freeform crochet and in freeform crochet you don't actually follow any pattern you just sort of um, crochet randomly but what this does it actually creates an extra stitch so what you need to do is go past the stitch that you would normally finish off in so normally where we would finish off in the fourth chain of the beginning chain four of the treble we're actually going to go into the fifth one and uh, so we don't have an extra stitch and you're going to go under the two uh, loops of that that stitch and you're essentially going to layer over top of that stitch before so essentially you have two stitches sort of stacked on top of each other and you'll pull this up snug and mimicking the stitch as best as you can and this is your chain one and you're going back down into the V stitch down into the back of that V of that previous stitch and you kind of have to fiddle with this a little bit and you can see how that stitch just disappears but essentially you have two stitches layered on top of each other here and then you just want to darn this into the back and secure it nicely in the back and so I'll do a nice job of darning that in but see that can come kind of loose so you want to make sure that it's snugged up nicely and then darn in the tail end and we'll come back and do round five now for the last round using the lily sugar and cream and this is the mod blue mod blue so starting in any stitch uh, around the outside edge you're going to, to join in with a on the top loop with a, a slip knot on your hook and join on with a single crochet so bring the yarn from behind flip your tail over and do a single crochet and then you'll do a single crochet into the top loop of each stitch and you'll do that all the way around just doing a single crochet into the top loop now I intentionally started on the side where I finished this round because it's hard to see but when you do that special stitch you there's just really two loops where a normal crochet stitch will have three loops so what I'll show you what you're going to do here so just do the double crochet into this last stitch before that and then for this one you're going to pick up the stitch that you made with a needle and thread and then you're going to pick up the stitch that you covered over and that'll give you a nice secure stitch so you're for this one only you're going through those two two loops and then you just carry on going into the top loop of each stitch now as you come into the corner you want to make sure you're catching the top of the treble crochet post this might look like you can go into the corner but you still have one more stitch to crochet into before you get into the corner and you want to make sure to pick up that last stitch on the top of the treble and there's your chain one and chain two now to do the corner do two single crochets into that chain two space and kind of have to pull the yarn over and then do a chain two and do two more single crochets into that chain two space and it makes a nice pointy square corner and then 
you have your treble crochet post here and you want to pick up the top of that treble crochet post as your stitch and then you're going to single crochet all the way around and doing your corners in the same way each corner will have two single crochets chain two two single crochets in the chain two space so go ahead and do that and I'll see you on the other side okay so here I am coming around the end of this round and so I just have one more single crochet to do in the last stitch and then we'll finish this last round in the same way that we did uh, row four so just cut your yarn and pull that through and we'll do an invisible stitch here so put the uh, yarn on your needle and again your you have your beginning stitch here you're going to skip that first stitch and go into the second one and you're going to lay this uh, stitch on top of that first one so again going under both uh, stitches or both loops of that second stitch and snug this up and bring the yarn up and over top of that stitch so you're sort of laying it on top of uh, that stitch and again you're mimicking a stitch and and then you'll go back into that last single crochet you're going in through the V stitch going in behind and just snug that up and again you're kind of tucking that stitch in behind and if you like you can actually darn into the back of that stitch just to secure it and then you can darn the yarns in in opposite directions so you can go this way and then go the other way with the other tail so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back welcome back here it is and you can't even see where that join is and I really like this so much than finishing off with a knot and trying to fight with a knot when you're joining your squares together it just gives a really nice finish so now with the cotton for sure you're gonna either want to block it or steam the square I'll just zoom out here a bit and I'll show you the difference between the one that I already steamed and so you can see you have to shape it uh, a bit and um, get the corners nice and square you kind of have to pull the yarn around a bit this cotton yarn doesn't um, work as smooth as the uh, acrylic or synthetic yarns do so yeah so you're gonna have to just steam it or block it and shape it a Bit. I have a really handy dandy steamer I'll put a link to that below if I can find it and I'll link to all the yarn colors that I used and the two colors I didn't show here is uh, this is the uh, what is this black current that's the purple and then the red is the country red and those are all the colors I used in all these different um, different color combinations so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel for more creative and inspiring videos thank you for joining me